TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, right behind me. You see the warning screen, man. Ain't nothing going on doing this video, though. It's just a city walkthrough, man. We chilling. Uh, this is a inside London's most dangerous town. This is from Window. Salute, Window, man. I see you growing out there. I see you, you pushing the... You pushing the brand, man. It's good content, man. I appreciate you giving me a tour every time I turn your videos on. Salute, my brother. I didn't even know they had this set up in the UK. We got these in Chicago as well. Oh, you can't see the video yet. Hold on. My fault. Anyway. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Those little pod things right here, we have these two here. And they have them in Florida too, I've never seen them, but they got them in Chicago for sure. Hanging out here with all the tourists in Camden, but as much as I'd like to kick it with all the weird, wonderful and funky people in Camden town, it's time to get down to business jump on the tube and head south to an area that not many tourists head to. A place in London that has some of the worst crime statistics in the entire city. A place that is recognised as, if not the most, then one of the most dangerous places in the entire city of London. So join me folks, let's jump on the tube and let's see how the people live far away from the tourist centre here where there is a real struggle with crime and danger in every day of their lives. Let's go. Memory. Where did we just metamorph to a Metallica concert? What is happening? What is, where are we? Memory. Memory. I don't have a gun. No, no, I, I don't, don't have a gun. No, I don't have a gun. Memory. I don't even know what song he's singing. Hey, uh. And we're donating to get you drunk. Yeah. That's a cause that I can get behind. He really had that on though. Where are we? Is this still Camden? <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, Camden looked like uh, uh, um, uh, it looked like the west side of Chicago, not not the the, the hood part. It looked like uh, the hippie part, like you know what I'm saying, the rocker metal. Like this how I look. I used to be over there. It was it was lit. <laughs> you, know what I'm about? you know you're heading out in the sticks in London when you have to take the overground. I feel like are you are you secure? I feel like this is where Harry Potter was shot. Go back down here where he went through the wall. Oh. Are, you, are you security, mate? Security in Costa? Yeah, I've never seen security in Costa. Why, why do they need security in a coffee shop? Maybe the manager knows the best. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm used to it in pubs, but not in a coffee shop. Wow. Welcome to Croydon in South London. Now, I go all around the country and I show you a lot of places that have problems. But many people in the comments are telling me that if I really want to see places that have got problems, dangerous rough areas, then I should come to London. And many people have said check out Croydon. Now, Croydon has some really unwanted statistics. Okay. It's really high in the London area when it comes to a crime rate in general, also for violent crime and knife crime. And it's become, in the last few years, synonymous with knife crime. So I'm here today to see what Croydon's like. I'm wandering the high street, but we're gonna check out some of the areas. We're gonna to talk to the people in Croydon and see if it really is as dangerous here in this part of South London as people say it is. Let's check it out. Et 
Excuse me, did you drop these? Yeah, you just dropped them on the oh, floor thank down you, there. Thank you, thank you. So what's life like yeah. in Croydon? Well, it's pretty tough, bro. Pretty tough, you know. It's rough. It's, there's a lot of trouble, you know what I mean? But this is the worst road you can build. OK. West what's, the, what's this road? West Croydon. It's uh, London Road, West Croydon, outside the station. Like most places in any uh, city centres, this is, this is where, it's, you know, all the bad shit will happen. Yeah, so I, I read a lot of, like, statistics about crime, violent crime, knife crime. Yeah, Is yeah. that all prevalent here? Yeah, he's a guy, a young boy, young boy at 13, died over there. He died, yeah. He, he, he couldn't even get to the hospital. He tried to get to the hospital with himself, yeah. Yeah. He's what got, he's got, he's got over a over there. Yeah. His name's Jermaine Cools. Jermaine Cools, yeah, yeah. That's I've terrible. Never met, I've never met him. 13-year-old boy. Yeah. I'm 62, bro. Come yeah. on. Next month, I'm 62 years old. You wouldn't so, believe it. So are you born and bred in... He doesn't look 62. <clears throat> in this area? Road here. Yeah, born down the road here. Yeah. St James's Road, St Mary's Hospital. Before May Day and May Die Hospital, right? They call it calling Universal Hospital now. They call it May Die as a joke, like, yeah, you may die, you may Jeez, die. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But, no, it's, you know, it's like most places, my man. Not yeah. most places. I can imagine it's like Manchester, Liverpool, anywhere in this country, brother. Yeah, I mean, I go all around the country yeah. and I go to all different areas yeah. from seaside town. Now, they do got a grids in there. To yeah. city centres. Where are you from, bro? We got Yankton. Originally, I'm from the Midlands, yeah. Yeah, yeah West yeah. Bromwich, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Near there, yeah. Well, More you, near Wolverhampton. Are you a black country? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I've been, I've been Wolverhampton. Okay, yeah. I've been to Eves. Okay. I've been to Eves and a roundabout, I believe. Yeah. And a, and a roundabout. Yeah, I've been to some place like me. Long so what's, time back. what's your situation at the moment? Oh, uh, um, I lost my job. I was a postman. My tooth dislocated shoulders. I had my finger cut off, you know, like, uh, in December. Jeez. I, yeah. I'm never going to work. Oh, so you're on four fingers. Whoever did this, it, like the doctors, it looked clean. It looked like it's supposed to be like this. Just yeah, I'm, uh, well, free, being, free and a fun. Well, yeah. I'm never gonna work again, bro. Yeah, because I've got no power, man. I don't care. I work. I want. Bro, you good with that? You, 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 you to getting the check, ain't you? I see the young people work. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm 62 next month. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need so, to be So, do you think anyway. because of the obvious crime in the area, do you think that puts people on edge, like walking around, uh, like at risk of we, stabbings well, and not, things? A lot of people, a lot of people, we know each other around here, we know okay. where to go, you know, where not to go. Yeah. I'd imagine, you know, anywhere we go anywhere in this country, you know where not to go. Now, if you go down this area certain times of night, you could, you could get in trouble. Yeah, so in daytime people. it's okay, yeah, but it's after night. dark yeah. it's sketchy. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. And that's the further you go down this road. The further you go down, the worse it gets, bro. It's the way it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see some sit around here, you wouldn't believe it. So would you, I mean, like, p people on my channel, they said, like, be careful in Croydon. Yeah. Like, nah, yeah. you'll be all right, no. Just wandering around. Nah, you're like, right, you wouldn't no. tell people not to come here. Nah, nah, never, never. I feel like it's the same with every hood, like, every bad area. If you go there looking for badness, badness will find you. If you go there looking like a walk and lick, to the people that are watching this who don't know what a walk and lick is, if you go there and you see, if you're in a town that's full of poor people who don't have any opportunity, don't have money, money, and you go around with jewelry, you go around with flexing your nicely, they might hit you for it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be street savvy. You gotta be smart going into where where you're not supposed to be. And and my suggestion is don't go there if you're not from there, because that's what I always tell people in Chicago. It ain't, it's streets in Chicago that I ain't never been down because I'm not from there. And to preserve my life, I will not go down. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. I ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's just me though. We're good people. Yeah. We, good people, mate. So you've been here all your life? 62 years. So, so you, have you seen it change a lot yeah, over the years? Worse, it's not worse, mate. Yeah, I was, that was worse. my question. Has it so, always yeah, been no, 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 this no. dangerous? No, no, no. This is, to me, I was in the Brixham Riots yeah, in 1980. I was a telegram boy, 16, 17, 18 years old. This is getting all that, bro. Really? Yes. You, do you see civil yeah, unrest on the yeah, horizon? Uh, this, this high street could be like Round Road. Okay, mate. That's me personally saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hope, you, hope you don't come to that because there's some good people here. Yeah. You've got loads of different uh, nationalities, you know, everyone mingles and it's all good. I'm not a man. I don't. Beat the cost of living, grow food. What type of barbed wire is this? I don't want anyone to get in there, do they? Jesus. I ain't never seen that. So what's life like in Croydon in 2024? Shit. Why do you say that? 
lot of trouble with people fighting all of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, there are like really bad, violent crime statistics. Is that a real thing? Is that yeah, something yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. People that he got that on though. People feel threatened by. Yeah. Yeah. Every time you stop up to stab somebody, they stab somebody. All of them. You know? Really? Yeah. Do you feel safe in the yeah, streets? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, you defend though, because like for yourself, like, you can defend yourself. Like, you know. If visitors come to Croydon, like what? Have they that's a false narrative. You can't defend yourself in the UK. If you defend yourself in the UK, whether it be from home invasion or if somebody else robbing you on the streets and you just defend yourself with, with any type of lethal force or, or force that can cause some type of harm or anything, like with any type of weapon, you're getting charged. Unless borderline, unless you're a farmer. But I remember that farmer who got charged in the UK. So it's like... You know, they make all these laws, they ban all these weapons that cause no harm ever. And then they just preventing, you know, citizens from defending themselves from criminals because criminals are always going to get the weapons no matter what you do. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the dangerous areas. You're going to go everywhere, but you know, you have to be take care. Have you got money for me to really talk to me? I haven't spoke to you, I'm speaking to him. Yeah, well, that's my bet. Yeah, okay. So you are speaking to me. Okay. Yeah, what's what like? What do you want to know about Croydon? What's Croydon like these days? Oh, rough. Mm. Rough. Very rough, sir. Yeah, I can imagine being on the street the here. Help, help, a lot of buildings being food. built. We got no house. No house. Yeah. How long have you? How long have you all been on the streets like this? Mm. Mm. tell me how long you've been on the street. Yes, almost yes. Really? Four and a half years. Is it dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Yes. Don't you hear people, Croydon people, they stop even kids going to school to stop that? Are you still going to ask me? Brother, y'all, hey, hey. Y'all better stand on business. This window, don't you dare, buddy. We it comes St. Croydon up. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just... I'm riding with window, though. Don't do that. But I see... I like how window de-escalated. Because, see, this is why I can't do stuff like this. As soon as buddy would have got stood up, got that close, I would have put the camera down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going for none of that. But he also wouldn't have came at me like that. I, I I refuse to believe he's coming at me. I'm 6'2", 280. Like, what you, what you, you got to choose. He's picking and choosing. That's why he sat down. He calm now. He just off that, uh, what he drinking? Yeah, there's a girl who stopped. Remember that girl? He off them hard times. Yeah. A coffin passed by no, 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 him. Do you, you feel in danger? Why you got for me? Danger, yes, of course. Oh, so Especially right. at night. You want to yes. know? Yeah. yeah. Food you want to know how crowd you live like? Leave your house, undress, and come on a live on the street with us. Wait, wait. Yeah. And you will know. No, I understand, mate. Yeah. No, I understand. no, no, no. Tell you. Yeah. 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 You want to live with us? Come on, live with us. Dude, is his he's I I understand, bro. It's pretty fed up, man. It's it's rough out here. And at the same time, like I. I I would want to come from a place of understanding, but the, the the person that's inside of me couldn't couldn't. I popped a QR code on screen, folks. For those of you that are watching on TV that aren't signed into your YouTube account, you can hover over the QR code with your mobile device, and you can click the subscribe button because it really helps to make the channel grow. And for those of you that are signed in, and please do it, folks. It really helps. You live in. I'm already so. That's tough though. I ain't never seen nobody do that. That's wrong. Croydon? Yes. What's, what's life like in Croydon in 2024? Uh, I can't swear. You can if you want. Shit. Yeah, why do you say that? Well, I've lived here all my life. It's changed tremendously. So when did you uh, notice Croydon changing if you've lived here all your life? I would say within the worst part has been since the last five, six years. Yeah. And even before that, it was going downhill, but it's it's just not my Croydon anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's so different. And I mean, years ago, I'd say to people, all oh, go to Croydon, it's a lovely place. You know, you can get people to help you. So and... you used to have a good sense of community back yeah. in the day? But you, now, you don't feel nothing. Well. No. I don't. So now it's all man for himself, huh? I feel it's anywhere near that it's got some really bad crime statistics well, very much Is, so it, do you feel that living here yes i do i mean to be quite honest I, I don't go out after about sort of half past seven eight o'clock okay. 
at night, or even though at the moment it's still. I'm not even playing. When I come to the UK, if I'm if I go if I'm in one of them neighborhoods and I need and I'm going out at night time, and I'm going to the club or something, I'm hiring security. Ask me if you did, you could judge me all you want through this screen. This is not my neighborhood. I'm not from here. I do not know the lay of the land. I don't got no homeboys out there. Secure me. <laughs> All light at that Secure time. me. But in the winter time, I, I wouldn't go out after that time because yeah. I'd be too frightened. Yeah, it's a bit scary it's place after dark. Yeah. yeah. I got a key. 100%. Okay, okay. RIP, whoever. This is a memorial here to one of the victims of the knife crime here in Croydon. Young lady. Eliana, I before I came RIP. here, unfortunately, was stabbed to death, which just shows you how dangerous it is for young people if they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Here in See what I'm saying? And I'm almost guaranteed to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. So you live in Sutton, you come in to just shop to... in Croydon for, you said the African shopping? Yes. Yeah. Most of the African shopping and they have most of the <coughs> halal foods. Okay, you know, yeah. This is Ramadan for we. Yeah, yeah. And we hope very soon we will pray on Wednesday. Yeah. And it's a nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah. Brighton is a nice place, but if you know how to move in it. Okay, yeah. But so if, it, if you don't know, you cannot live in Croydon. Yeah, it's got re right. or go really bad crime statistics and people say it's I a very know. dangerous place. I was living here before three years up there. They put me someplace I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But I manage my life with all my disability. I can go around. Yeah. Nobody talk to me. Nobody harm me. They are good. Some so, of them. So you lived here for three years before. and you. I just moved to. Did, you didn't feel in danger when you lived here. People say it's in danger, but for me it's not in danger because I'm polite to everyone. Yeah. The way you talk to people, the way you live. But if you want to be harsh to anyone then you will be harsh also, they will hash you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, I see many things, but it's not my problem. Don't be angry. When you get angry, you will get a slap. <laughs> so I don't need a slap. Life will give you a slap if <laughs> you're angry too. And I cannot throw on. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. Enjoy your shopping, my friend. Thank you, Thank you for talking to have me. Have a nice day. And you, my friend. I love your camera. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's not all doom and gloom, crime and deprivation here in Croydon. There's been a lot of high rises built and the jobs that come with those office blocks over the last few years and one article that I read before I came here said that it's becoming quite a popular place for people to come and live to commute into central London to have the nightlife work there because it's a more affordable option so you know there, there is obvious crime and problems here but at the same time maybe it's a place that's on the up and a place that's more affordable than the ridiculously high rents that people have to pay in most other parts of London. I will say that considering it is an area with incredibly high crime statistics, I've hardly seen any police. In fact, thinking back, I think I've seen one police car all day since I've been here. You would think we're in a place that has such obvious problems with violent crime, that there would be more police on the streets. And that, to me, is worrying. The community here, those that abide by the law, they definitely deserve far more police presence to help them feel at ease like things are under control. Police count number two, all day. <coughs> so what's life like in Croydon 2024? 2024. Yeah, I mean, it seems it's okay for me. That place is very good. Yeah. Yeah, and we get everything that we want, so I don't have any problem about that place. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a reputation and... and um... That's the thing, man. You can't ask somebody that's not originally from there. If you ask somebody that's coming from another country, they're going to be like, oh, no, nah, this ain't got nothing to do with where I came. Nothing on where I came from, so it's lovely. Love it. <laughs> the crime numbers are really bad yeah, and it's a dangerous place. Yeah. Do you experience that? Okay, you know, me from work to house, from work to house, I don't go out to mongrel or to run things with them, you get me? So you think yeah, if you're running so the wrong crowd, yeah, I hear you find about trouble. that, but you know, to see it physically, I've never 
even appear or to go closer to watch those kind of things. Yeah. But yeah, more times I've heard that this and that, this and that, blah, 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 blah. I was drawn to you because I absolutely love your shirt. I like You're the best dressed man I've interviewed Thank so far. Thank you. Yeah. A sensational cap. That's, that's that good for you, man. Good for you for letting that man feel that he is out here stepping above average. My oh boy, you did good. Yeah, thank you for talking to me, mate. Thank you. Have a good day. It's, it's good up here. There's new shops from America, fucking Wendy's, uh, Popeyes, uh, Five Guys. It's, it's a nice. There's a Popeyes and Crunning? Oh, it's already bussing. It's already bussing. I'm, I'm going. Why would I not go where the Popeyes is? There we go. So oh, some, some more foods come in, yeah. Yeah. I could care less about Wendy's, but Popeyes? It's nice people here still. Nice girls and that, you get me? Okay, summertime, yeah. The summertime is going to be gonna Good be looking litty. girls in summer. It's going to be litty still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to come back in summer for the, uh, yeah, the good looking ladies, yeah? Bro got to moving weird. Another positive thing that Croydon's got going for it is this cool little street market. I don't know if it's on every day. Maybe if you know Croydon, you can drop in the comments whether this is a daily thing. I hope it is. But look, amazing fruit and veg. Fish behind me there. More exotic veg there. So this is something good. This is something good for the community here in Croydon that you don't see in many other places around the UK anymore. Would you chat to me about the, the oh, market stall? Time, you haven't got time. Too busy making money. One question. Look like you got plenty of time. Is business good? Is trade good? Is this here every day as well? Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't see that in many places in the UK anymore. I don't normally comment on empty retail units. I normally leave that to my mate Wandering Tony. But this is the shopping centre. I think it's called the Whitegate Centre here in Croydon. And this part of it at least well, it's dead. is basically all closed yep. up. There's a toy shop down there, but pretty desolate. Pretty uh, sad retail offer here in the shopping mall here in Croydon. Well, we got a mall on the north side of Chicago. It's kind of like an Evanston, Skokie, in that little border of towns on the border. It's so dead like this. <laughs> used to be popping, but. It's been okay. by far the most difficult place that I've been to in the UK yet, trying to get street interviews. Many people are not happy talking to me on camera, and people definitely seem They're stormsy, right? not at ease when I talk to them about things like violent crime and danger in the area. There's definitely an edge to this place. It definitely is dangerous, and many people are telling me that it really does change after dark. There's no way I'll be walking around with this little action camera trying to get interviews from people after sunset. Folks, there's no hiding from the fact that Croydon is a rough place. I wouldn't even say that it has an underbelly of danger and right crime top. because <laughs> You don't have to scratch below the surface here to hear the stories about how dodgy it can be. But on the flip side, the people that have spoke to me today, I've met some quite engaging people, especially some of the older people who say that it was a much more community friendly place back in the day. But there's a lot of investment too, here by the overground station. You can see the high rises glistening behind, but of course that's not the true story. Croydon. I'll put a link in the description below for all the different places that I got the crime statistics from and I think if you look into them, do a little bit of reading, you will see the evidence that this is quite a dangerous place. So folks, thanks for watching, thanks for coming along with me to what is without doubt, if not the most, it's definitely one of... That was peak. It was very interesting though. That Croydon is very similar to very many parts of Chicago. It's like West Side, West Loop, West, West, you know what I'm saying? Over there. Tell them to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your posts. I'm gone.